So I'm just in my office here and I just want to do a quick demonstration of 3D scanning. So I'm in my room um, here. We're just going to click this record button on the screen and it's going to start recording. And so the biggest tip I have when you scan, we want to get all the corners of the room. So we want to go top, bottom and try to get all those edges. Um, that'll significantly help us as we're trying to scan something. Um, so I'm just waving my hand around, trying to keep my movement relatively smooth. Um, the jerky movement will cause distortion in the skin. Again, just trying to get all the corners. There's a corner down there. And the other suggestion I have is just try not to go over anything twice. We just want to scan everything once. Um, so that's 3D scanning. Um, obviously, this is a very small room, but if it was a bigger room, you might want to be a little bit less focused and less accurate, uh, or not less accurate, but less focused on just, um, you know, small details. But again, try to get the corners and you can move potentially a little bit faster. Now that the scan is done here, we can click uh, HD process. We want to click start process. And generally, this might take, you know, one to five minutes, depending on how large the scan. This one's really small. Uh, I think I, you know, it should take that long. Um, the other suggestion I have when you're doing the scanning is sometimes I find around the five minute mark, your phone potentially has a hard time processing that scan. So sometimes I'll set a timer on my, on my watch for five minutes. And when doing that, if, if we need to do multiple scans on the interior or multiple scans on the exterior, I'll use that timer as a way of, um, I guess, uh, um, limiting how much data. So often what we'll do is we'll do one scan per floor and then we'll do one scan of the exterior. And then if we have topography and other elements that we need to scan, so maybe we'll do one scan of the exterior of the building and one scan of the topography, and then we can just bring all those scans together. So we completed the scan, we processed it. Now we just want to click the share button here. And we want to go to point cloud down the middle here. We're going to change this to high density. We're going to ch and we're going to click the X Y Z color one at the top here. And this is uh, essentially all you need to do to scan. And I'm going to click our OneDrive button. We're just going to upload this to OneDrive. And I'm not going to actually upload this because I don't want this scan. But theoretically, we just click the upload to OneDrive button. And that uploads. If you use obviously Google Drive or and uh, Dropbox or whatever, I'm sure this process is very similar. And I'm going to jump over to the computer here in a second. And once I do that, you know we can see uh, what to do next. That now that we have that scan in the computer, and I'm going to actually use a bit of a different scan. So um, yeah, that's that's kind of the process.